Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony, and today we are in the new 2020 Chevy Tahoe, courtesy of Turner Chevrolet in Harrisburg, PA. And so at this point, I think it is safe to say that the Chevy Tahoe does have a timeless design. Definitely looks good. FBI car, of course, which is kind of cool in itself, but I think everybody already knows that. So as always, let's just jump right into it, and let's start with pricing. And so there will be a few different trim levels, of course, for the 2020 Chevy Tahoe. First one being the LS, starting at $49,295. Then you have the LT, which is the one we have today, starting at $54,295. And last Lastly, the Premier, that one is going to start at $63,995. And by the way, that was all pricing for the rear-wheel drive setup. If you wanted to go with the four-wheel drive setup, simply add $3,000 to any of those prices there. But so then when it comes to the power plant on the 2020 Tahoe, there is one standard engine setup and one optional engine setup. The standard one that we have today is going to be a 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 V8, putting out 355 horsepower, 5,600 RPM, 383 pound-feet of torque available at 4,100 RPM, power again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through a six-speed automatic, giving you 16 in the city, 23 on the highway for the rear-wheel drive, and 15 city, 21 highway for the four-wheel drive. But so as I have mentioned, there is one additional optional engine setup only available for the premier trim level, and that one is going to be a 6.2 liter V8 which by the way bumps the price up to $72,520 but that one is going to put out 420 horsepower at 5600 rpm 460 pound-feet of torque available at 4100 rpm power on that one only sent to all four wheels through the four-wheel drive system through actually a 10-speed automatic so that's going to be another major change with that engine setup but mpg numbers on that one 14 city 22 highway towing capacity comes in at 8100 pounds in case you were curious with a zero to 60 time of 5.7 seconds which I gotta admit is quite impressive on paper for the size of the Tahoe but now having said that I think you guys know what we have to do next we don't have that 6.2 liter we do have the 5.3 liter so as always let's do a quick little acceleration see how quickly we can get the new 2020 Tahoe here up to speed <laughs> Actually, he's got some get up and go. You're most definitely not going to have any issues merging onto the highway. I was kind of impressed, I got to admit. The 5.3, well, it is a V8, but then again, it is a larger SUV, so I didn't know what to expect, honestly. But the V8 definitely pulls hard, without a doubt. But so, as always, to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so, as expected, you will find four wheel disc brakes when it comes to the braking feel. It's not bad. I do feel like at lower speeds when you hit the brake, it is a little bit squishy or spongy, I guess you could say, but when you're going at higher speeds coming to a quick stop, definitely no issues there. Then touching on suspension and handling a little bit, you will get a premium smooth ride suspension, Chevy calls it. That one's actually gonna come with the LS and LT trim levels. And magnetic ride control is actually gonna come standard with the Premier. The thing I like about that one is it actually monitors each wheel individually, kind of adjusting the suspension based on not only the road conditions, but your driving style as well so that therefore is not only going to give you a smoother ride but it's going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering as well really giving you the best of both worlds so i am always a big fan of the magnetic ride control love that technology also standard on the tahoe is a limited slip rear differential which of course helps keep the rear wheels moving in unison little extra traction there for you and touching on ride quality honestly i can see no issues with going on long road trips in this thing definitely a relatively smooth ride and of course as you go up in the trim level specifically Specifically, the Premier, you're going to have an uh, amazingly smooth ride, so that's definitely nice as well. Steering feel, eh, it is as expected. It's a little bit on the loosey-goosey side, but again, you can expect that from usually larger SUVs like the Tahoe. So, then touching on cabin noise a little bit, it is definitely a quiet cabin. I got the air on right now, but I guess if I turn that off, it gets even quieter. Really, no outside air no outside wind noise coming into the cabin so very impressed there as well they're touching on rear visibility a little bit it is a little less visibility than i guess you could say a lot of other three row suvs and i guess that's just because that third row kind of sits up a little higher in the back but i can still see perfectly fine out the back i really don't have any issues but it's not going to be as much as let's say the chevy traverse but i will say one thing i definitely do like about the tahoe is it does offer a head-up display it is available we don't actually have it today but that's essentially going to project your 
speed and speed limit onto the windshield, helping you keep your eyes better on the road. So that's gonna be there for you too if you wanted it. But now I think it is time. Let's check out this timeless design once again, and let's make our way to the exterior on the 2020 Tahoe. And so to start up front, that front grille is actually gonna differ slightly depending on the trim level. For example, the LS and LT trim levels are going to look the same. That is what you're currently looking at. And then if you went with the Premier trim level, you're gonna get chrome horizontal bars up front. And if you went with the 6.2 liter optional engine setup for the Premier, you're gonna get black horizontal bars. I guess that being the more of a sportier appearance to go with the sportier engine setup, if you will. But to the sides, halogen headlights will come with the LS and LT trim levels. They will come with the automatic feature. And you're gonna get LED day daytime running lights with that as well. If you went with the Premier, however, you will get HID headlights and they will actually come with fog lights just below as well. Then make your way to the side. Roof rails are gonna come standard on all trim levels as well as rear privacy glass back there. Tahoe lettering can be found on both driver and passenger front doors. That's kind of a Chevy thing, whether it be suburban or traverse, kind of an elegant look. I do like that. Power adjustable body colored side mirrors will come standard for all trim levels and they will actually be heated as well. And if you wanted integrated turn signals in those side mirrors, simply go with the premier trim level. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels will come with the LS and LT. If you went with the premier trim level, however, you will find 20 inch alloy wheels. Then make your way to the back rear spoiler with integrated brake light will come standard just underneath of that, the rear window wiper. This is unique to the Tahoe and Suburban actually as well, but usually that rear window wiper can be found kind of asphyxiated to that rear glass, which doesn't have quite as good of a look to it as the setup that the Tahoe and Suburban does. So I like how they tuck that rear window wiper up underneath the spoilers. Definitely a nice little design cue there. And just below it all, a single exhaust outlet. So you guys know what we have to do next, even though we're in an SUV, as always here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are round back to up in that rear hatch, there actually is a button on the key fob. So I'm just going to simply press that manual lift gate comes with the LS power lift gate with the LT that we have today and a hands free lift gate. If you went with the premier trim level and actually to close it, all you need to do is just simply press one button once again. But once opened up behind that third row, cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.3 cubic feet. Also behind that third row, there is a little bit of in-floor storage, not a ton of room back there, but still enough room to store your guns or really smaller items, I guess you could say. Also, there was some grocery hooks back there as well, so that's always convenient. But when you fold that third row down behind the second row, cubic feetness comes in at 51.7. With all rows folded, that comes in at 94.7 cubic feet. That is quite a bit of space. And if you want with the premier trim level, actually you will find power folding rear seats as well. And that is gonna be optional on the L today so that is why you have me showing it to you right now i love that feature it's pretty pretty darn convenient but make your way up to the rear legroom third row is going to come in at 24.8 inches i gotta admit this is probably no definitely better left for small children because 24.8 inches is actually less rear legroom than let's say the chevy camaro and again that third row does sit up a little higher so people with larger legs are going to kind of feel like an awkward kind of position back there let's say but anywho make your way to the second row legroom that's much more manageable for an adult coming in at 39 inches even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there i did want to also mention you will find rear ventilation found on the roof for all three rows to keep everyone comfortable also plenty of hookups there's a 12 volt power outlet hookup in the third row and that continues to the second row as well and plenty of cup holders and of course this particular tahoe that we have today does have optional rear heated seats as well which is always a good thing but then make your way to the front seats ls trim level is going to give you cloth finishes lt and premier trim levels are going to give you a leather finish and those front seats will be power adjustable with that leather finish as well lt is going to add heated seats premier is going to add heated and ventilated front seats but now taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping leather wrapped on every single trim level and it will be power adjustable and heated if you went with the premier but now let me show you guys the key real quick here before we get to the startup chevy logo is going to be on the one side on the other side when you flip it over lock unlock and again there's two actually buttons to pop the rear hatch depending on how high you want that lift gate to raise up to and that circular button in the middle that's going to be a remote start which is actually standard on every single trim level of the tahoe that's definitely quite nice 
And then if you want with the Premiere, you will find a push button start with keyless entry. Again, it is optional for the LT, so we do happen to have that today. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so, but then once started up, tachometer on your left, speedometer on your right, the gauges will do a full sweep, always like that with Chevy. And there is a small digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are actually steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there, giving you things like a digital speedometer, force trip A, trip B, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your next oil change when that's needed, tire pressure for each individual tire and a bunch of other things actually as well. But now let's take a look at overall interior quality, universal home remote, meaning the garage door openers. That is gonna come with the LT and Premier trim level. It's gonna be located actually on the roof up there. Wireless phone charger is gonna be found with the Premier power sunroof is available for the LT and Premier trim levels if you wanted that. Tri-zone climate control also standard. And again, plenty of hookups. The USB charging ports are actually gonna be found up front here. It's gonna be one just underneath the climate control settings there. And there's some storage just behind that as well, just behind that, two cup holders. And in the center armrest here, you will find a cell phone holder there. And this center armrest is definitely quite beefy. If you lift that up, you're gonna find probably some of the most room for a cargo area in the center there that you've ever seen. There's two more USB charging ports, by the way, within that, some other storage trays and a very, very deep cargo area there. So that's definitely quite nice. Also, when it comes to interior quality here, if you look up at the roof once again, there is not only an overhead sunglass holder that's pretty standard these days, but also, a little school bus style rear mirror so you can spy on the rear passengers. So always like having that in three row SUVs as well. But now let's take a look at the tech display. Eight inch color touchscreen display is gonna come standard on all trim levels and all trim levels will give you Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Tahoe and therefore you have free navigation through that smartphone as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs as well. If you wanted the factory navigation, that's gonna come standard with the Premiere. And you can, of course, also check out your radio settings up there as well. By the way, when it comes to the sound system, six speakers will come with the LS. LT is gonna bump that up to a nine speaker Bose sound system. That's the one we have today. And the Premiere is gonna give you a 10 speaker Bose sound system. So you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Oh my gosh, I'm dizzy. That was nuts. Definitely a good bit of loudness, a good bit of bass. I've never had any issues with the Bose sound system. I had one on one of my previous cars, never failed me, so big fan of Bose. Last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display is when you do put the Tahoe in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera for every single trim level, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also rear child door locks back there. If you went with the Premier, you're gonna get lane change alert with side blind zone alert. Premier is also gonna add front and rear park assist, but if you went with the LT trim level that we have today, or the Premier, of course, you will get forward collision alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and low speed forward automatic braking. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.